Good morning, War Eagles. My name is Aiden. And my name is Jalen. Tonight we will have a home football game against Madison County at 7.30. Let's go to Ellie with more of our sports. Hello, Trusted Team. Here's your sports for the week. Volleyball plays Madison County in North Oconee, and Tuesday softball plays Seconder. And don't forget to come out tonight to watch your War Eagle football team play Madison County, and don't forget to wear your jersey. Hello, Eagles of War. Today we are with... Coach Chafin. Hello, Coach Chafin. So, uh, I hear you coach cross-country, is that correct? That is correct. I'm one of the cross-country coaches. So, um, how are you doing this season? Uh, so far, we're doing pretty good. Um, we haven't had the same success um, in terms of winning races like we did in the past, but we're getting to the point in the season where we're peaking now versus peaking early, and I think we're going to really surprise some people that region. And if I had a guess, I would definitely say both teams will, will qualify for state this year. Well, I'm glad it's going well. Um, what has coaching taught you? Uh, one of the biggest things I learned in coaching is the, that failure is acceptable, um, that failure is nothing more than just learning. And as long as we're continuing to fail and get better, then we're not really failing. And uh, one thing I try to communicate to the kids is, is as we're getting better, we want to be the aggressors. And people that want to be great are aggressive and that they have my permission to be great. And we saw that this weekend in county. Uh, the girls finished third overall in the county and the boys finished fourth in county. And um, we had Eli Chafin finished fifth overall. Uh, Izzy Wintermantle finished eighth um, overall in the girls race. And in the boys, we had uh, four total runners making the top 25 and the girls had three runners in the top 25. So they went out and they surprised some people. And um, we're looking forward to region coming up in two weeks. and. And really the goal is to, to make it to Carrollton this year. Okay, I'm glad it's going well. Um, is there anything you want to say to anyone who wants to join cross country? Uh, yeah, so cross country, um, a lot of people don't really understand how it works. They think it's just running long distances it's, and it's really not a, a big time distance, it's three miles. Um, we do a lot of training to make sure that they have their conditioning and we do a lot of speed and hill work. but. Um, the one thing that I do wish a lot of people understood is that you don't have to be a, a good runner. Um, sometimes our, our best runners start out extremely slow, and when they stick with it and keep working, they end up being one of our best runners. So it's welcome for anybody. Um, we have kids that are running 5Ks in 16 minutes, and we have some that has taken them you know, 32 minutes. So uh, we love to have anybody that wants to come out and work hard and be a part of a team. Well, that's all I got for you. Thank you, Coach Chafin. Um, my arms are tired, so back to you. Good morning, War Eagles. My name is Alessandro Espinosa, and I'm here with Eli Chafin. And um, he's the number one runner on uh, cross country. And today we're going to ask him some questions. Like, how's the season going so far? It's going great. We're looking good, ready for region. Have you made any accomplishments as a number one player? Um, we had a good meet uh, Saturday. I placed fifth. We had a great showing. How has cross country been over the years for you? It's been great. It's given me a lot of experiences that I otherwise wouldn't have had. Would, it, would you say it improved like your like your life outside of cross country or yeah it improved everything really it just gave me like that mentality edge and it helped especially in other sports like do you have any advice for the people out there trying to join cross country just come out and show up we'll get you right in about three weeks and you'll be ready to race and that's it how's the season um, it's going really good. The team's doing great, and it's been really fun so far. What are your accomplishments? Um, so far during the season, I've improved on my time, and I've gotten closer with the team, and like the girls' team's been placing really well, and we're all improving. So yeah, it's been it's been good. And uh, do you have anything to say to the people who want to be in cross country? Um, it's a really good sport to stay conditioned, and it's a really good like team sport. Everyone's so nice, and it's just a good community and to be a part of. Saturday, the band will be hosting the Lake Lanier Tournament of Bands. The first band to perform will be around 1 p.m. The student council will hold a one-day cash pre-sale for homecoming tickets today during lunch, so make sure you don't miss your chance. Otherwise, tickets will be sold on GoFan October 1st for $20. If your date to call homecoming is not a CHS student, make sure to pick up your date approval forms in the front office or in Ms. Collins' room for our homecoming dance. The final opportunity for senior portraits will be October 3rd. There has been a date change for Hispanic Heritage Month. Join us for Spanish Speaking Family Night on Thursday, October 12th, 5.37 p.m. Now let's talk to a few people on what Hispanic Heritage Month means to them. Hello, I'm Aiden, and this is... Hi, I'm Ms. Alvarez. Ms. Alvarez, 
What does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? Um, I have wrote down, guys. But Hispanic Heritage Month is part of being of my culture, and I'm Mexican, you know. My parents are from Guadalajara. And it just means to be proud of my family, my ancestors, everything that they struggled for us to be here and just have the life that we want to have, you know. So celebrate your culture. Be proud of it, guys. And viva Mexico. How do you celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month? Well, today's the first day of Hispanic Heritage Month, and today is El Grito. So tonight at 12, the president will be in Mexico City, and they'll be doing the Grito. So we'll be watching it through TV, because obviously I'm not over there. And we'll just be eating, celebrating, you know, um, getting together with my parents and my sisters. So I'm excited to eat a lot of food this weekend. Thank you for participating. My name is Jalen. My name is Axel. And what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? Uh, it means like we're all Hispanics. It's a really nice month, you know, because we can celebrate Hispanic all from different places, Honduras, El Salvador, Mexico, you know, different Hispanic nations. Yeah. Hello, I'm Aiden and we're here with Selena. Selena, what does Hispanic Heritage Month mean to you? Um, Hispanic Heritage Month mean to me is like something that the Hispanic culture put effort into winning their independence, and many schools um, celebrated as well, like by bringing traditional foods up or doing traditional things, and yeah. Thank you for participating. We sent Eli to check in with Mr. Kelly to see how the theater is doing. He also caught up with Miss Whitlow about Hispanic Heritage Month. Here's Eli with more. Hi, I'm Eli. I'm here with Mr. Kelly. Tell us, how'd your recent one act play Rabbit Hole go? I won't lie to you, Rabbit Hole was one of the best shows we've done in the 13 years I've been here. It was beautiful. Great to hear. Are y'all taking it to competition? Yeah, we are. Um, we cut the show down from two hours to 55 minutes. Uh, we'll be at North Hall High School on October 21st. That's a Saturday. We perform at 11.55 a.m. And believe it or not, it's a free day. So anybody can come watch uh, and cheer us on. Are there any upcoming projects after Rabbit Hole that you're excited about? Yeah, absolutely. We're doing The Little Mermaid in December. And in fact, auditions are happening this week. So anybody that wants to be in The Little Mermaid, just come down and talk to me. Thanks for your time. Still Eli, here with? Miss Whitlow. Miss Whitlow, what's your favorite part about teaching Spanish at Chastity? Oh my goodness, um, the students. Our kids are wonderful and we have a really good time. Are you doing anything special to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month this month? Um, yes, actually, I have spent several weekends with some of my Hispanic friends celebrating. And then I also volunteer at the largest food and clothing bank in the state of Georgia as a translator. So we've helped over 500 families last Saturday um, with food needs and clothing and just different things in the community. So that's been really fun as well. And how do you feel about how the school year has gone so far? Oh, it's been great. It's just gone by really fast. <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Oh, you're so welcome. Aloha, Chastity. Make sure to support your chorus program by coming out this Friday, today, and going to the football game and buying from the Kona ice truck that's going to be there. You can buy the Classic for $4, the King Size for $5, a color changing cup for $6, and a collectible cup for $7. The $6 and $7 souvenir cups are both refillable at any Kona ice station for just $3. See you at the game, War Eagles. Now to Anna with their weather for the weekend. Anywho, Chastity, here's your weather. On Friday, it'll be a low of 59 and a high of 83. On Saturday, it'll be a low of 63 and a high of 83. On Sunday, it'll be a low of 64 and a high of 81. <laughs> going on guys welcome to my new segment called students versus teachers today's question is do we need homework we're heading off to our first teacher it's you there I'm here with Carson we're only gonna ask one question today what do you think we should have homework no not at all it's like the worst thing known to man <laughs> what about the assignment I gave you today isn't that important it's important oh, but I don't though. like math homework especially I don't You're feel like. Do the homework, right? Yeah, I mean, I'll still do it, but because I don't really have a choice. But 
Other than that. But you really want to audit as well. Yeah. I don't really like homework. I ain't gonna lie, you just got called out. <laughs> yeah, I know I did. But I don't think it helps me as much as just doing the work in class. Fair. Yeah. All right. All right, we'll move on to our next person. I'm here with Anthony right now. Same as the last guy. Do you think we should have homework? Uh, I feel like homework is kind of pointless because it doesn't really let, it doesn't really teach me anything. It's just, it's just busy work. Um, the assignment like we're doing today in class, I'm like, it's important, but it's something that can go over in class. It's not something I have to go over at home, spend the time. That I have stuff I have to do. I have important stuff in my life. I have family. I have a, uh, got work. More, you know, making money is more important than doing homework. Well, yes, but we all need the grades. Well, yeah, but you don't need homework. You can just do it in class assignments. Well, thank you for the time. All right, we're going to move on to the next person. I'm here with our last teacher, Miss Kinnickle. Kinnickle. I can't say that. It's okay. All right. So basically what I've been asking everybody else, do you think we should have homework? Well, I have several counter arguments for my students who are a live audience right now that just just answered this question. Yes, uh, homework does have value. Teachers have a job to teach you. And we have our class time. And you guys know I love class time together, right? Right? They're nodding. They're nodding. But there is a psychological purpose behind homework because it revives that information in your brain and it makes, you, it, makes it much easier for you to remember it. And we, I don't give a lot of homework. I gave probably two to three homework assignments last year, and I don't do it very often, but I do it, and when I do it, it has value. And so yes, homework has value, and it's important. Did you give us three already? Yeah, I gave you three already, because I'm pushing you. Dang, you got caught out again. <laughs> you got okay. caught out again. Anything else, or are we good? No, y'all are good. Okay. All right, what's going on, guys? We're heading into our next teacher. I've been hearing a lot of different opinions today. <laughs> I said the last teacher was the last teacher, which actually, I was wrong. Who knows, what are y'all guys' thoughts? That's what I would like to know. All right, we'll see you at the next teacher. We're here with Coach Hogue, and we're gonna ask him, of course, one, the one, this is our last teacher, so. What do you, do you think we should have homework? Yes, I think you should have homework. Students need to learn the value of putting in the extra work to learn and accelerate in life. Sounds pretty reasonable. Yeah. Anything else? I think that's about it. Now so. go do your homework. <laughs> that's the end of our segment. Uh, I guess I've heard a lot of opinions today, so who knows? What's yours? I'll let the newscast go back, so goodbye. That's all the news for the week. Have a great weekend, and go, go Warriors. Eagles.